Hey there gang, we are at Pinal Cemetery and we are in, well, Find a Grave says this is Midland City, or no, Find a Grave says this is Central Heights and then Map says this is Midland City. So we're between, actually Globe is right over there and Miami is there, so we're in this copper mining corridor really cool history here and we're here today to visit the grave of the bandit queen pearl hart i think the only woman the first maybe only to ever rob a stagecoach so let's take a look at some graves as we walk and i'll tell you the story of pearl hart it's a very interesting story she was actually born in ontario lindsay ontario and at the age of 17, after, you know, middle-class family, good education, she ends up eloping with this guy. He was a gambler, not a good guy. Last name Hart. That's where she got her name, Pearl Hart. So she was on the fast track to getting in trouble. And she would leave him several times and then she would go back to him so she was in love with him and he would not change his ways in 1893 they traveled to the Columbian Exposition in Chicago now we've talked we've to oh got to watch these boulders here we've talked about the Chicago Exposition and H. H. Holmes. I mean, a lot of a lot of crazy stuff, right? It's pretty well known. Talked about the people doing seances and all the new age of spiritual spiritualism and all that. But uh, Buffalo Bill Cody was there. Now he could not. You know, they wouldn't give him the official. They, he couldn't get on the billboard. He couldn't get on the ticket, so he, I'm just going by memory here, I think he rented some land and he did his show and he did pretty good. And of course, who's there? Annie Oakley. So Pearl Hart, she's like doing odd jobs and she goes to see the show. She sees Annie Oakley and she's like, wow, I want to be Annie Oakley. She's just enthralled with that whole scene. She wants to go out west. She thinks it's glamorous. It's just like, well, as we say today, or as they said in the 20s, it's not like the movies. So she got her courage up and she left her husband, who was a jerk, and she boarded a train to Trinidad, Colorado. And she became a singer there. People liked her, but she, did, she didn't like it. She's like, this isn't like what I thought it was going to be. I thought this was just going to be romantic, cowboys. So she ended up doing some singing. She's doing dishwashing. And then her ex, this guy, his name was Frank, he comes, he was in Phoenix, he hooks up with her again and he says, hey, come to, come to Tucson. And he must have been doing well with the winnings because they had some money and they, they lived pretty good. But when the money ran out, he started getting gnarly again. And then he went into the military, the Spanish-American War. And Pearl being alone, 1899, she ended up getting with this prospector, this miner named Joe Boot. And that's when she got a letter from her brother and said, Mom is ill. She's really sick. We need money. We need money for the doctor. How are we going to get money? We don't, we're not making any money here. And... So the story goes, they 
they said that she went out with her new boyfriend and they went here they came here to globe this area and there was a stagecoach going between globe here to the east and florence and it was going to the settlement or near the settlement of troy and cane springs canyon so pearl got a disguise she cut her hair she dressed up like a cowboy or i should say a bandit she got a gun a 38 and while boot held a gun at the stage he robbed the stage she stole guns and money they gave each passenger one dollar for food they took the driver's gun and then they fled down to the south to Benson. They worked their way up the San Pedro River, hoping to get away. But they did not. The stagecoach driver unhitched a horse. He rode to town and he alerted the sheriff. Now they got caught. There's a posse and they ended up in the Globe Jail. Well, Pearl played it up. She, you know, was playing her part. Everybody was fascinated with her. Female bandit, I mean, this is not ladylike. This never happens, all right? So, signing autographs. It's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a star here. She ended up escaping from the jail with one of the other inmates, a guy by the name of Ed Hogan, and the posse. They tracked him down, and now her legend was really growing. She was getting really famous. We're talking, I don't know if she was in the dime novels, but she, she got pretty well known. And there would be a trial. 1899 and during the trial she made her plea to you know she got on the stand and it's funny that you know I, I, I do episodes on the Roaring Twenties and the Poisoners and the, the women and if, if, if you were pretty and I kid you not you would get off and Pearl Hart she did the same thing and of course it's a jury of all men and they're like she's a hero so they, they, she was innocent. The jury was like, not guilty. And the judge went, why? He was mad. He's, he admonished them. He was like, you are losers. <laughs> but I'm sure those guys were smiling under their breath. Yeah, she got off. So pretty, pretty famous. She really got famous then, by the way. So here is the grave. She ended up getting remarried down the line. This is, I believe, her George Calvin. I think she grew old with him. But this is the stone right here. There you see on the, on the right, Pearl, November 13th. 1876 to December 28th, so right just after Christmas in 1955, huh? Look at that. Just resting. Isn't that cool? The outlaw life. Well, early on when she was young, she was back in prison a few times and in December 1902, she ended up moving to Kansas City after getting paroled, ran a cigar store. She got arrested there, stolen property. Innocent again. But after that, she lived with George here. George Calvin Cal, they called him Bywater. And that's why, you know, at first I thought that was, you know, Bywater, but that was his last name and that's what she went by. The Lady Bandit, so 
It's a big concrete slab here, and I don't want to step. I'm reaching way out with my gimbal and camera. I don't want to. I think they're I'm like. So I can only. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'll come around this way. I can get on this side. Because yeah, I wanted to put a rose down for her. Yeah. For the Bandit Queen. For the Bandit Queen Pearl. And there we see the the sunset, right? Well, rest in peace, Pearl. We have the sun shining down on you. Rest in peace.